News Talk 1070 KHMO presents On the Mark with Mark Hespin. News Talk 1070 KHMO presents On the Mark with Mark Hespin. On the Mark is powered by Cunis Country Honda Hyundai, your number one Honda and Hyundai dealer in the tri-state area at 221 North 36th Street, Quincy. Faith, family, and giving back. That's Cunis Country. And now, here's Mark Hespin. Good morning, Tri-State 10, wherever you may be listening on the News Talk 1070K HMO app. This is On the Mark. I am Mark Hespin, brought to you live at Cunis Honda Hyundai. 221 North 36th Street in Quincy. That's right, episode 237. I am live outside here in the parking lot of Cunis Honda Hyundai. Stop on by. It's a gorgeous day. Start to Memorial Day weekend. Obviously, we want to take an opportunity uh, to uh, start off this show by saying... We honor the men and women who paid the ultimate sacrifice for us to be here and do amazing things like this, like go on Sports Talk Radio and and uh, enjoy the freedoms that we have in this country. And so we uh, remember and honor all of those who served our country and, and paid the ultimate sacrifice this Memorial Day weekend. Stop on out to the dealership. We're going to be here for the next hour doing the show. And uh, I got a, a really nice show planned for everyone here today. Um, training camps, uh, you have the OTAs, the volunteer workouts are going in the NFL. We're going to talk about that here coming on up in just a little bit, uh, because I think there are three teams that have three big questions at quarterback. And I, I'm very uncertain as whether they should actually sign these guys to some long-term deals. We'll get into that. Uh, later on in the show, we will talk Luka Doncic and his incredible Game 2 performance and Game 2 winner uh, over the Timberwolves and over Rudy Gobert, the Defensive Player of the Year last night. Heck of a shot. Um, I think Luka is uh, setting himself up to be in a path uh, to be the world number one. I'll explain that coming on up later on in the show. We'll also talk Celtics and the Pacers. To me, it looks like it's going to be a sweep. We don't even know if, if Halliburton's going to play tonight. Uh, we will uh, we'll talk of that series here later on. And then we'll wrap up the show with a little uh, Caitlin Clark gets her first win. Uh, Scotty Sh- uh, Xander Shoffley, excuse me, got uh, his first win in a major. Uh, we'll give some shout-outs. And a big series, Cards and Cubs tonight, which uh, you can listen to that game right here on KHMO, right? Right, Michael? All right. Unless it rains out. Unless it gets rained out again. Let's hope not. Let's hope not. All right, let's jump into it. Hespin headline number one. Hespin's headlines on the mark. You can't pay Tua, Dak, and Jordan Love right now. You can't do it. You cannot if you're the Miami Dolphins, the Dallas Cowboys, and the Green Bay Packers. You cannot pay those guys until this time next year. You can't do it. And here's why. You are going to saddle your franchise up with possibly an an absolute detrimental, gigantic contract that you won't be able to move depending on the type of year these guys have. The Detroit Lions did something very unique. The Detroit Lions, they spent and paid $50 million a year for Jared Goff. Well, Jared Goff just led them to multiple playoff wins an NFC championship game, and he is now on the same playing field and plan as far as, uh, you know, timeline with all of the other stars that they have in Detroit, with Amon Ross St. Brown, with their le- with their left tackle, Panay Sewell. They don't have to pay Hutchison yet, their, their star edge rusher. They have everything settled. They have a, a great young tight end in Laporta. They don't need to pay for another two or three years. They can afford to pay Jared Goff $50 million right now. He fits in with their timeline. I would also argue, if you were to tell me right now, who would I want guaranteed over the next three years leading my franchise, Goff, Dak, Tua, or Jordan Love, I would take and trust Jared Goff over those other three guys. I've seen it for longer. He's in the prime of his career, and especially where he is and the and the team they built around him, it makes sense to lock up Jared Goff and have security as you try to make a run in the weaker NFC and uh, get yourself to a Super Bowl. And, and once you get into the Super Bowl, who knows? Anything can happen, right? So let me go back to Tua, and then we'll go to Dak, and we'll go to Jordan Love. Because I don't think you should pay any of those guys before the season starts. But I do think they are all have slightly variances and differences. Dak's a little older. Jordan Love is more the prototype body. But then there's Tua, right? So let's start with Tua. 
Tua, a year ago, remember, at this time, a year ago, we were talking about Tua is if he had one more concussion, he might have to retire. Now, shout out to Tua. Congrats to Tua. He made it through the year without getting majorly injured. Tua survived the year, played the year, played at an MVP caliber year for a portion of the year, and was able to make it without getting injured. So he does deserve credit for that. But as far as paying to a $50 million a year and a big, big contract, because you're going to have to pay it more than Jared Goff. Jared Goff's contract is now the baseline for the above-average, high-end starters who could win a Super Bowl if their team is built around them correctly, right? That is what Jared Goff is. That He has now reset that baseline. That's $50 million a year. So am I going to pay Tua, Tua Tungavaloa more than $50 million a year right now when all I've seen out of him so far is, congrats, he survived a season last year, didn't get a major concussion rate to miss time, and then his one playoff appearance was embarrassed in freezing cold Kansas City and couldn't move the football. So what I would do if I was Miami and I was a fan of the Miami Dolphins, I would be pushing the narrative, hey, this is your Joe Flacco year. Remember, that year Joe Flacco, coming off the end of his rookie deal, had won a lot of games, had made the playoffs, but they were a little unsure on Flacco. Do we pay him the big money? Do we sign him to the long-term deal? Joe Flacco turned down their low-ball offer. He bet on himself, and he led the Ravens to a Super Bowl in that victory over the Niners in the Harbaugh Bowl, if you remember that, down in New Orleans. Won a Super Bowl, and then after he won a Super Bowl, you pay him whatever you want because he won you a Super Bowl. I would do the same thing if I was Miami this year. I would look at Tua and I'd say, Tua, we like you. We, we can't wait for you to lead our team this year. And we truly hope that in a year from now, we're all uh, getting sized for our Super Bowl rings and uh, we are going to pay you whatever you want. At that point in time, you, you would pay Tua $60 million a year because he won you a Super Bowl. He led you to a Super Bowl victory. Those banners fly forever. Fine if you got to overpay for him at that point in time, overpay. But Miami can play this really smartly because if Miami goes through the year and they have a really tough schedule, listen to these games. You're going to learn a lot about my about Tua in a contract year. He's got to go to Buffalo. He's got to play a game at the Jets. Obviously, those are division rivals. So you're at Buffalo, at the Jets. Two quarterbacks that we think are more talented and better than him and Josh Allen and Aaron Rodgers. Two rosters uh, that are equal to, if not better than, what you have in Miami. So you got to go to those games. Then you also have to travel all the way to Seattle. Tough travel. You have to go to Los Angeles at some point in time during the year against Matt Stafford, a quarterback we, we all agree is more talented than Tua. Uh, at a playoff team last year. He has to go to Green Bay on Thanksgiving night to play the Packers and Jordan Love in cold Lambeau Field on Thanksgiving night primetime. You also have to play games at Houston and at Cleveland, right? And then your easy home games are your division rivals, Buffalo and the Jets, tough games, especially the Buffalo game. You get it early in the year, but it's a night game, so you don't have that Florida sun to help you on out. You have to play the Jags and the 49ers at home. So there's a lot of good quarterbacks on that on that schedule. There's a lot of good playoff teams on that schedule. If Tua can make it through this year and can lead Miami to a division title, uh, multiple playoff wins, get himself to an AFC title game or even, heck, a Super Bowl, let alone win a Super Bowl, well, then, yeah, sure, you can say, you know what? We as a fan base, we as a franchise, we're all in on committing to Tua because we just saw him lead us through that slog of a season. He stayed healthy. And he got us to the ultimate game or the penultimate game in an AFC title game. Then fine, pay, negotiate with Tua and pay him $52 million a year. And you, you, you can sign yourself up for that because you've seen him do it. But until you see him do it, you just cannot pay Tua $52 million a year. You just can't do it. You have a young, smart, offensive coach in McDaniel who you believe can take any quarterback similarly to uh, uh, Kyle Shanahan, his mentor, and just plug and play with the weapons they have down there in a free agent destination like Miami. Uh, it's really imperative if you're a Dolphins fan, if you're the Dolphins brass. If you're a fan of the Dolphins, you you, you should be rooting for Tua to play this year and ball out in a contract year and get as far as you can. You should not be rooting to pay Tua before the season. It will strap you because if you pay Tua $53 million a year guaranteed, 
for the next four years going into the season. You pay him more than Jared Goff. And then he goes through that slog and doesn't make the playoffs or loses again in a wild card game. Well, now you're strapped to a giant contract and an underperforming quarterback in a really tough AFC. And with the schedule I just laid out there, road games at the Rams, at Green Bay on Thanksgiving night, at Houston, at Cleveland, at Buffalo, at the Jets, your home games with the Niners, the Jags, the Buffalo, the Jets, it's plausible Miami doesn't make the playoffs next year. It's very plausible in the tough AFC with that tough schedule that Miami misses the playoffs. And then as a franchise, imagine you pay two of $53 million guaranteed, you know, a, a year. So you paid him a $200 million contract, more than Jared Goff. You have to overpay Jared Goff. And then you miss the playoffs. Well, then you're SOL. And your fan base is, is, is calling for people's heads and you're getting fired. GM's got to relocate. It's a, it's a, it's a nightmare scenario for Miami. Hold off. Do not pay Tua before the year unless you can get Tua to agree to a contract $45 million or less on a longer-term deal. Well, then I'm fine with it because then you're getting a quality starting quarterback at way under market value. Then I'm fine with it. If Tua is willing to go less than Jared Goff, less than $45 million a year, well, then I'm, I'm all for it. But we all know that ain't happening. These guys want their money. They want to get paid. And they all want to get paid more than the guy who just got paid last. Dallas very similar situation. The problem with Dallas is is that Dak is older. And they've already paid Dak. Dak's coming off of the end of a very big, long, expensive contract. And so you're going you're gonna to pay Dak again this year, going into a year where it's a younger offensive line. Tyron Smith is not there anymore. Now, we think that should be a good offensive line. They've invested a lot of draft capital in it. Uh, but the weapons are C.D. Lamb and... Yeah, exactly right. Who's their starting running back? He's going to rely on Dak a lot this year. And he's got, again, a really tough schedule. Road games at Cleveland, at Pittsburgh, at the Niners, at Atlanta, at Philly. Home games against Baltimore, Detroit, Philly, Houston, Cincy, Tampa. A lot of playoff teams, a lot of good quarterbacks on that schedule. Again, if Dak can finally lead you to an NFC title game or a Super Bowl this year, well, then I'm fine re-signing Dak to a big contract for the next couple of years to reward him for what he's done for your franchise but you've already paid him and he has lived up to that contract and giving you winning seasons getting into the playoffs but as of right now why recommit to Dak I don't think there's any reason to recommit to Dak and if Dak holds out fine let him hold out and let him be uh take that media scrutiny because there's just no win for Cowboys Nation or Cowboys fans if you sign Dak to a giant contract more than Jared Goff's contract right now. Again, you're going to face them maybe down the barrel of a nine-win season and you just recommitted Dak to a giant four-year contract. That's a nightmare scenario for a franchise to be. Finally, last and, and, and not least, I want to talk about Jordan Love of the Green Bay Packers. As we're broadcasting live here at Cunis Honda Hyundai, stop on by at CS221 North 36th Street in Quincy. I'll take your feedback. You can tell me if I'm right or wrong on all this. I'm going to talk about Jordan Love of the Green Bay Packers. I do think this scenario is different because what we did see from Jordan Love in the last nine games of the season and in the playoffs until he made that brutal interception at San Francisco that cost him that game at the very end of the game. But we saw a quarterback that looks like, oh, that's a top 10 quarterback talent in the league. And Jordan Love, different than Dak and different than Tua, has the physical body of a oh no no that he's got the body of a all pro physical you know starting pro bowl quarterback a super bowl winning quarterback jordan love also has it was a first round late first round pick who hasn't been paid anything yet so he hasn't gotten the money that a two has already gotten or that certainly dax already gotten if green bay could get jordan love to agree to a 51 million dollar a year just ahead of jared golf right now I wouldn't love it. I'd rather see Jared Goff do it two years in a row with that tough schedule. Remember, they play Philly in Brazil to start the season. And then you have road games at the Rams, at the Jags, at Detroit, at Seattle, and a home slate that includes Detroit, the 49ers, the Dolphins, and Houston. It's not an easy schedule for Green Bay this year. It's not. I'd love to just see Jordan Love play it on out. And again, if that means you're then paying Jared Love, Jordan Love, excuse me, $55 $55 million a year next year because he plays well, leads to the playoffs again. You had to overpay a little bit more. Well, I'm comfortable with that because now I'm paying for the proven commodity. 
I've seen two successful years of starting. I've seen two straight playoff years at, at quarterback. Then I'm happy and I'm I'm all for paying the guy in the mid fifties, paying him more than Jared Goff. But are you comfortable paying him more than Jared Goff when remember early in the year Green Bay was under five hundred, they were struggling and their head coach Matt LaFleur was at the podium saying, We need more, we need him to play better. Yeah, he went on a really great stretch in the last seven games of the season, played really winning football, led them to a, a blowout victory on the road against Dallas and came within a play and a bad inter- Jordan Love interception of maybe beating the 49ers in San Francisco to make it to an NFC title game. Yeah, he played really, really well. But is that a flash in the pan or is that what Jordan Love can be consistently? If I was a Green Bay Packers fan, and that is a giant if, you know, if you listen to the show, and I... And, and that, it pains me because as a Bears fan, it, pull back the curtain, I would love to see the Packers just pay Jordan Love $60 million a year right now and go all in on Jordan Love with us not knowing 100% if he's going to be the guy, the guy or not. But in reality, if you're Green Bay, if you're a Packers fan, let him play it out. Let him lead you to another deep playoff run this year. And then you'll happily pay him whatever the market bears that you need to pay Jordan Love. But until he can prove it and do it consistently two years in a row, I just wouldn't do it. If you're Miami, if you're Dallas, if you're Green Bay, your offseason should be focused in on staying healthy, integrating your young players, and making a deep run this year. It should not be about, let's make sure my quarterback gets paid. You don't want to overpay these guys before you see them do it again. For Tua and for Jordan Love, before you see them do it again at a consistent level. And with Dak... There's no need. You've already paid him. Let him play at his contract. Are you really worried Dak will walk away in free agency? If he has a really great year and you want to re-sign him next year in free agency, I'm sure he'd love to stay in Dallas next year uh, no matter what. You're listening on the mark. News Talk 1070 KHMO and the KHMO app. We are live at Cunis Honda Hyundai. We're going to be here for the next, oh, about half hour or so as we're doing the show. And if you stop by and see us here at the dealership, 221 North 36th Street in Quincy, we got tickets to give away. Tickets to Little Texas. They're going to be at the Brown at, in Mount Sterling, downtown Mount Sterling. downtown Mount Sterling, tomorrow night. Little Texas. So we got some tickets. So come on by and see us, and just say, "Hey, Mark, I want I want those tickets to to Little Texas in Mount Sterling tomorrow night." We are live and local on location at Cunis Honda Hyundai. It's on the mark on News Talk 1070 KHMO and the KHMO app. Have you ever felt so dizzy you could hardly stand up? You're not alone. Millions of people struggle with dizziness and experience the debilitating symptoms of vestibular dysfunction, such as vertigo, nausea, and ringing in their ears. Vestibular disorders affect people of all ages and can impact ability to work, go to school, or just perform everyday tasks like shopping and getting dressed. Because these symptoms are invisible and difficult to describe, they're often overlooked by doctors and dismissed by family and friends. But there is hope. Visit vestibular.org or call 800-837-8428. If you or someone you know has experienced a persistent sense of dizziness or lack of balance, visit vestibular.org to search for a vestibular specialist in your area. The Vestibular Disorders Association can help you discover a life rebalanced. Visit vestibular.org, that's vestibular.org, or call 800-837-8428. As we wonder why school shootings keep happening, someone is lashing out at loved ones. As we argue about legislation, someone is posting threats on social media. As we continue to mourn the loss of innocent lives, someone is planning the death of more. Knowing the signs is the best way to prevent gun violence. Learn the signs at sandyhookpromise.org. Roxanne Watson is on a mission. Hello, how are you doing today? She wants more people to register as organ, eye, and tissue donors. Are you an organ donor? Yes, I am. Yay! My goal is to sign up the most people in the United States. (laughs) What drives her? Roxanne's own life was saved through the gift of a heart transplant, made possible by an organ donor. I decided that day that I was going to devote myself to the cause of organ donation and signing people up and honoring my donor by doing that. Now she's back to health, and she's a powerful force helping to save lives every day through her work. Imagine what you can make possible by leaving behind the gift of life. Eight people can be helped with the major organs 
and up to 50 people can be helped with a little bit of everything. And when you think about it that way, that you could help that many people, it's amazing. It really is. Learn more and sign up as an organ, eye, and tissue donor. Go to organdonor.gov. A message from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Health Resources, and Services Administration. 1070 KHMO. Welcome on back to On the Mark here on News Talk 1070 KHMO and the KHMO app brought to you literally today live at Cunis Honda Hyundai. Uh, we love our sponsor, Cunis Honda Hyundai, and uh, we're doing something new this year. This is our second live lo- on-location broadcast at Cunis Honda Hyundai. Stop by. We have tickets Tickets were given away to Little Texas at Mount Sterling tomorrow night, so come on out and see me. Uh, 221 North 36th Street in Quincy. And uh, if you have thoughts on anything I'm saying during the show, I got a second microphone, so come on out here and, uh, you know, let's chat it on up a little bit. Or if any of the, the guys out here listening at Cunis and want to get in on this, we're happy to have you. Shout out to our great sponsor, Cunis Honda Hyundai, 221 North 36th Street in Quincy. Doing some great uh, deals. It's the penny over deal this weekend for Memorial Day weekend. We're going to have to ask uh, Levi or one of the guys about that to explain this because it's like it's an insane deal. I don't even know how they're going to make money off of it. But I think it's just it's just because they want to give back to you, the community. All right, let's jump into it. Hespin headline number two. Hespin's headlines on the mark. Luka Doncic officially can become, in my opinion, the world number one. So it, what I think is really fun about basketball, and especially because basketball has become so international, and there's just there's just so many guys from across the world now uh, that are incredible, incredible basketball players. Wembenyana from France, you know, Serbia has a, has a, has a, a Jokic and, and Luka from wherever he's from, Albania, or the other Eastern European countries. All the Canadian players, SGA, and and these young guys. Well, I, I really think you can look at basketball players the way we look at golfers, right? The golfers have, like, the world number one ranking. And Tiger was world number one for, like, five, six, seven, eight straight years, whatever it was. And I, and I do think Luca has a chance now to officially become my world number one basketball player. Now, you know, if you listen to my show over the last couple of years, when Giannis won his title... I, uh, I, I crowned Giannis as the number one player in the world. I, I thought Giannis was leading into the number one player. He kind of took it from LeBron. Um, and, and LeBron had it for a, a better part of a decade and a half. And I said, no, this is now Giannis. Giannis really does stuff at a high level that no one else can do. And I thought Giannis had it for about two years. And now Jokic has taken it from Giannis. Giannis has had some injuries, kind of flamed out in the playoffs. And in the meantime, Jokic has won three out of four MVPs, he's won a title, uh, and has been on some, uh, been on other deep runs as well. Well, now Luca, I, I truly think, has a chance to, to maybe take that title from Jokic. Could I argue that Jokic is maybe still the, is probably still the best player on the planet, pound for pound? Yeah. I think Jokic is an incredible, unique basketball player, the likes we, we've never seen. But what Luca is doing is absolutely incredible. What he did last night is is really showing the power of an of a superstar playing in his prime at his peak, taking over series. This Minnesota Timberwolves team is an incredibly well built team. Daniels, uh, Rudy Gobert, Cat. They have depth. They have a, a veteran point guard in Mike Conley. They have a, it, the sixth man of the year in Nas Reed, and they have an emerging young United States superstar in Anthony Edwards. They have all the recipes for a team that is that just beat the defending world champions that should be on their way to a title run. And now they're down 2-0 after two games at home to a Mavericks team that's kind of a ragtag group of unique pieces led by, I could argue, the number one basketball player in the world right now with Luka Doncic. Now, if you would have told me going into the playoffs, before the playoffs all this year, I still, my rankings would go Jokic 1, Giannis 2, Luka 3. But if Luka is able to dis, you know, mantle the Wolves this quickly and then win himself a title and will be the MVP on his way to a title, it would be hard to argue that Luka is not 1 or 1B moving himself ahead of Giannis and just right there in a battle with Jokic 1 for 1. Um, what's so interesting about this series so far is that this series is 2-0 Dallas with two road wins in Minnesota. 
But they've won those two games by a combined four points. That's it. Only four points. And so the games are really close. So what has been the difference in these games? I I think roster-wise it makes sense that the Mavs don't have as good of a team as the Timberwolves. The Timberwolves, as you said, they have the defensive player of the year. They have Anthony Edwards, who's a top five, six, seven player in in the world right now. They have Carl Anthony Towns, who is an incredible number two option. Uh, who's a top 15, 20 player on the planet. They have Nas Reed, who is your sixth man of the year. They have McDaniels, who's an incredible 3 and D wing player, young player. They have a veteran point guard in Mike Conley. They have all of the elements. Is, is they're a better team than Dallas. Yeah, Dallas has Kyrie, who's a who's who's now becoming a all world teammate. Who who would have saw that? That's not on my bingo card over the past couple of years. The incredible turnaround from Kyrie, and then they have a bunch of nice role pieces: a Hardaway Jr., a PJ Washington, Daniel Gafford. These guys are nice nice pieces, but they're not as complete of a team as a, as a Minnesota or even a Denver. I'd argue. And yet, they've won two games in Minnesota by a combined four points. How have they done it? Well, look at the box score. I mean, if you've watched the games, you know what I'm about to say. It's Luka. It's Luka. And look at the box score. I said going into this series, Minnesota is the team I'm picking to win. And I, and I said it because I think that Minnesota, I know Minnesota is a better team, but I think that Ant, playing at the level he's playing, Anthony Edwards, will be able to give me 90% of Luka. And he has given us about 50% of Luka. The difference has been Luka has just completely outshined Anthony Edwards in this series. He is putting Anthony Edwards in a blender. Luka, 65 points combined in two games. 21 assists combined in two games. And 16 rebounds in two games. Luka is averaging 32 and a half, 10 and a half assists. And eight rebounds compared to Anthony Edwards, who's combined for 40 points, 15 assists, and 16 rebounds. He's outscored Anthony Edwards by 25 points, and Anthony Edwards has been at home. That's the difference in the series right now. The two best players, your star in Minnesota and Anthony Edwards, is only giving you about 55, 60% of what Luke has given you, and he's been at home. So Luka's just been magnificent. And Kyrie, kudos to Kyrie. He's played extremely well in this series so far. And they're taking the pressure off of Gafford, off of P.J. Washington, off of Hardaway Jr. to play loose, to play free, and to put up uh, big shots and hit big in big moments in this series as well. Trust me, it's, it's been a team game. But Luka is the reason why. He's that four-point difference, right? If Luka had an off-shooting night in game two, Well, then Minnesota would have won the game. They only lost by one point. So that's been the difference. Luka and the the level of play has been the reason why Dallas is up 2-0 and looks like they're going to handle this series maybe in four games. At this point, would it shock you that Dallas balls out at home in front of that crowd? Luka continues this momentum. They're going to get the best shot. They're going to get everything that Minnesota can throw at them in game three because it is a must-win game three for Minnesota. Must win. Must win. Minnesota can survive if they come back to Minnesota 3-1 because then it's then it's then you get home 3-2 and then it's just everyone's, you know, it must win for both teams game six and game seven. But they're they're gonna they're gonna throw everything they have to try to win that game three, which they have to. As I said, it's a must win for Minnesota. So that's the difference right now. Right now, it's Luka. And Luka gets to go home. His role players will play better. That'll take a little less off his shoulders. Kyrie will play better at home. That'll take less off his shoulders. And so kudos to Luka Doncic for putting his team in this position through two games. Right now, if you had to ask me, who are the best players on the planet? Uh, right now, I'd still say if I was if I was starting my team from scratch, that's kind of how I think of this. And I was picking my 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 star. I would still go Jokic, Giannis, one two, Luca would be three, uh, and then after that, I think there's a real gap. There's a real gap between those three guys and a group of really really talented, amazing players in in Anthony Edwards, Jason Tatum, uh, Shea Gildress, SGA, uh, Embiid. 
and then you know Durant, LeBron, Steph for a couple years, a year or two, I'd still be willing to to throw my hat in the ring and, and play those guys for a year or two. Uh, but that's those three. You're, those three guys have separated. Jokic, Giannis, and Luca have separated. And Luca has a chance to put us all in a blender, and and you have a hard argument to say he's not the number one player on the planet if he goes in to dismantle the Timberwolves, win himself an NBA title and a and a uh, MVP award. I do believe, like I've said it, I said it against the Denver versus the Timberwolves series. Whoever won that series is going to win the title. I, whoever wins the West to me feels like he's going to win the title. The Timberwolves right now look like a team that is emotionally spent. They were in a seven-game all-time matchup, a, a, a gigantic win for their franchise, a gigantic win for these players, and it looks like they have just been flat in game one and game two, and they don't have that next gear, that next level. It just doesn't feel like they have it. It doesn't. And uh, Luka took advantage of that, and the Mavs took advantage of that uh, as they had a little bit more rest as they handled uh, the Oklahoma, Oklahoma City Thunder and uh, and they've jumped all over Minnesota in these first two games, and Luke has been phenomenal. That shot against Rudy Gobert, that is the start of a championship TV. That's the, that's the, that's an iconic shot. If the, he goes on to win a title this year, that shot is just as important as some of Michael's big shots against Cleveland. I mean, it, it is that is a legendary, legendary shot for his career. You're listening on the Mark News Talk 1070 KHMO and the KHMO app. We are here live at Cunis uh, Honda Hyundai, 221 North 36th Street in Quincy. Coming down and see us if you uh, stop by the – just drive on in. If you want the tickets to Little Texas at Mount Sterling uh, tomorrow night, just stop on by. We're right here outside in a big tent. You don't even have to go in or talk to any of the salespeople. Just come up to us. We'll get you those tickets. Go see Little Texas at Mount Sterling. Uh, but if you want to talk a little sports, you want to talk some NBA, you want to talk some NFL – Anything you want, stop on by. We got a microphone set on up. Let's chat it on up. We're live and local on America's News Talk 1070 KHMO and the KHMO app. Without VA, I would have paid twenty-five thousand dollars for my hospital stay, forty-two thousand for my education, seventy-four thousand for my home down payment. But because of my service, I paid zero. Get what you earn. Visit choose.va.gov. Not all veterans are eligible for the type or amount of benefits mentioned here. Childhood should be the happiest time of life. But for many children living in poverty with blindness, facial deformities, and other crippling conditions, it's riddled with pain, rejection, shame, and isolation. At Mercy Ships, we're answering the cries of some of the world's most forgotten children and adults through free, life-changing surgeries, surgeries that turn despair into hope. These once heartbroken boys and girls, and many men and women too, are now restored, accepted, and on their way to new lives full of opportunity and joy. No one can change the world on their own, but with God's help, we can transform it by restoring hope to one person, one child at a time. Volunteers from your community and around the globe or joining Mercy Ships to bring life-changing healing and hope to the forgotten poor. To learn how you too can help change the world one child at a time, go to mercyships.org today. The mission of Paralyzed Veterans of America is clear. Accessibility. Veterans who have served and sacrificed the best of themselves deserve access to the best our country has to offer. Access to meaningful employment. Access to the veterans' benefits they've earned. Accessible homes and vehicles. And access to every part of their communities. With PVA staff working inside VA hospitals, no other veterans organization has provided more real-time, ongoing support for paralyzed veterans and their families. PVA is proud to serve veterans across all branches all generations, and all conflicts. Our nation's heroes fought for your independence. Join PVA in fighting for theirs at pva.org. Here's your weatherology forecast from the News Talk 1070 KHMO Weather Center. Bright sunshine expected today with daytime highs approaching 77. Northeasterly winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Slight chance for storms tonight. Lows dip down to about 61. Cloudy. Currently, it's 63 degrees. Welcome on back to On the Mark here on News Talk 1070 KHMO. The KHMO app brought to you here live at Cunis Honda Hyundai, 221 North 36th Street in Quincy. Hey, Brad, how are you? I'm 
good. How about you? Get right up in that mic, Brad. Oh, I'm doing good. How okay. about you? So, Brad, uh, Brad, one of uh, one of the uh, managers here, Cunis. So, before we talk a little Boston Celtics Pacers. Yes. Okay. Tell me a little bit about what you guys got going on this weekend. I think it's for the rest of the month, right? The Penny Over deal? Yes. For our Memorial Day sale, we are doing a Penny Over sale on all new Hyundais in stock and on all Accords and Civics on the Honda side in stock. Uh, great time for some people to purchase. Uh, get a great deal on a car. Get into full warranty again. Uh, keep the payment low. Come see us. Simple as that. Easy yeah. as that. All right. So let's talk a little Pacer Celtics here really quickly. Absolutely. I want your thoughts. Are the are the Celtics now going in for the sweep? As, uh, they say Halliburton is a game time decision tonight. I I would have a hard time seeing it. I know Halliburton's a game time decision. The Pacers crowd is always electric. Um, and Tatum just he's hit or miss, and he's been more miss in the playoffs. I feel I have a hard time seeing the Celtics going for the sweep. Well, yeah, and they and they they there was something I was reading that the Pacers haven't lost a game at home since March. Because, like, they've been in this battle to try to avoid the play-in tournament. Yes. And then they've swept their home games to the playoffs. So, you're right. It is an electric cl- uh, crowd there in, in uh, Indiana. Uh, what I think is interesting is Pascal Siakam. He's been great. Absolutely. And he's the type of player that is one of the – he's an unrestricted free agent this summer. Yes. And it's like one of those things, if I'm a Pacers fan – you want him to play well. You want to show him love because you want him to re-sign with, with Indiana. Absolutely. Yeah, but he's the type of guy, too, that you're like, oh, if he ends up in a New York, he ends up in a, in Los Angeles with a LeBron, he's not one of those, like, giant names, but NBA guys know him as, like, no, no, he's a star player Absolutely. who could be a huge difference maker. Absolutely. I went to a Bucks raptors game a couple years ago when they were both undefeated. Giannis sat out, Kawhi sat out, and Siakam took over the game. Yeah, he's uh, a star. He was, he was unbelievable. That's my first time ever seeing him, and I was blown away by how good he was. All right, so what about Luca? Lu- I mean, Lu- is Luca the best player on the planet right now? Yeah, he looks like it. Yeah. He's After unguardable. What he did, yeah, what he did to go bear the other night. That was, <laughs> or last night. Actually. Yeah, it, it's incredible. I mean, w- would you, if you were starting your franchise tomorrow, a five-year deal. You had to sign someone to a five-year deal in the NBA. Pick number. You have one of one. Every every player on the board. Who are you taking, Luca? It, it's got to be Luca. Even Kyrie seems happy playing with Luca. It's so true. And that it, Kyrie has been an underrated part of this Mavs run. I mean, he's been teammate of the year. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. If, if you're if you're KD, you're sitting there in Phoenix, going, uh, "Where was this in Brooklyn?" <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> what what happened here? Playing well again. I like P.J. Washington. has been a big addition for him. I don't think he's stayed enough. Well, yeah, he got out of that the, the, the vacuum that is Charlotte, and all of a sudden he's, he's, he looks great. I heard yesterday on ESPN Radio that uh, the home team is in the playoffs since COVID is only 27 and 26. So they said the home team was really? 51% of the time. Did, it, it, did home post, advantage just is not it's not it in the NBA. Be. It's not what it used yes. to be. Yes. That's a really that. that's a really fascinating yeah. stat. All right, uh, any other deals you guys want to promote today? Got anything going on here? No, come besides see the us. penny over deal. Come see us. We'll be here till six. Um, obviously, I'm Brad. I'll be working in the Honda building. Tony's been here with me. He's working in the Hyundai building. We'd love to see you guys today. All right, a good deals on used inventory, right? That no lifetime, no fear powertrain warranty. Yeah, absolutely, ten year, hundred thousand mile powertrain warranty from the date of purchase and the miles at the time of purchase. And Tony, one of the things I love about Cunis is, is say you know we talk all the time. This is Honda Hyundai, right? But what if I'm in the new market for a brand new Jeep? I can still come to Cunis Honda Hyundai, right? That is correct. See, and that's and people don't. It's 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 one of the things I love talking about with Cutis on Honey. It's the network of dealers. Okay. You guys can get that vehicle down here, test drive it. You don't have to go to the competitor across the street just because they're the only Jeep dealer in town. You guys keep them honest with the network of dealers. Absolutely, absolutely, we love doing it. And then you get the lifetime powertrain, no fear warranty. Yes, sir. All right, guys, appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon. Right, thanks, thanks for stopping by. Yep. Uh, I do want to mention here uh, quickly in talking about the Pacers and Celtics, and it was I'm, I'm, I'm gra- glad we got Brad on to talk about it here a little bit. Yeah, Halliburton is a game time decision tonight. Do I think the, the 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 Celtics will sweep the Pacers at this point in time? If Halliburton doesn't play, the Celtics better sweep the Pacers. He better. This Celtics team, it's now or never. It's you know, it's poop or get off the pot, as they like to say. You got to make this happen because. If you're the Celtics and you do not win the NBA title this year, I don't know if this Celtics team, this version of this Celtics team, will ever win an NBA title. Because you you had so many breaks this year. You didn't have to face Giannis. 
You had Kevin Durant leave the East. The Heat were without Jimmy Butler. And so you know the Heat and Pat Riley are not going to just sit on their hands and do nothing. You know that Giannis is coming back. And so the East is going to be, you'd imagine, tougher next year as Western guys and stars will probably try to leave the West even to move East because the West is a, is a disaster. And then out of the West in the NBA Finals, you may end up with either a three seed or sorry, uh, uh, the Timberwolves. Yeah, the, with a three seed or a six seed in the Mavericks or the Timberwolves. Um it, it's now or never for the Boston Celtics and Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown is balled out and, and, sh- and showed up. This is your opportunity. If the Celtics don't win a title this year, I, I don't, I don't think I'll ever, ever feel comfortable predicting that the Celtics and Tatum will win a title. This is their window. It is now. It is absolutely right now because the upstart thunder are only getting better. They have every pick in the NBA draft for the coming years, and they can trade those and move those picks around and get stars to come in. The Thunder aren't going anywhere. They're young and getting better. The Nuggets are going to retool. Jokic isn't going anywhere. The Timberwolves now uh, are absolutely going to be a threat to deal with for the next two or three years as Anthony Edwards gets better. Luka, if he if he gets into a finals now and, and that Mavs team is going to become a destination, the no state tax in Dallas, they'll spend money, go play with Luka. I, I just don't see how the, the Celtics can not win a title this year, but you feel good about them being a title pick in the years to come. Uh, this is it. The window is now for Jason Tatum and the Boston Celtics. And uh, especially... Especially because Halliburton might not play game time decision. Uh, you you don't even have to play Porzingis. You, your, your third best player can get all the rest he needs. You might not even need to play until the NBA Finals. Uh, the Celtics are healthy. They're rested. They've, they've gone through an infirmary of teams and had to play a very weak competition. Now, I'm not blaming the Celtics. You can only play who's in front of you. But it does make me put pressure, more pressure on and say to the Boston, it's now or never. It really feels now or never. You're going to have to pay Jason Tatum after this year, the Supermax. He's going to get $330, $340 million guaranteed. You're going to have two $300 million players. You have to play, pay Derek White, keep Porzingis around. And so Boston, it's now or never. I, I, it's absolutely now or never. The pressure is on the Celtics to get it done to get it done this year, and I, I don't know how you feel confident in the Celtics doing that when you look at how well Luka's playing and how good of and deep of a team Minnesota is. But we'll see. The, the thing they have going for them is sweep the Celtics, sweep the Pacers, and hopefully, again, you get all the rest in the world. And you, and if you're a, if you're a Celtics fan right now, root for the Wolves to come back in the series and have that thing go seven games, and you're sitting with all of the rest. Porzingis healthy. That is that is how you'll feel confident going into the NBA Finals. And then hopefully Jason Tatum takes over games three, games four, doesn't let the Pacers get any life, and hopefully you know Tatum can play like a bona fide superstar in these next three games. Tonight's a big, big night. Big, big night for them and for Jason Tatum. Don't let the Pacers get any life. You're listening on the Mark News Talk 1070 KHMO and the KHMO app. Broadcasting live here at Cunis Honda Hyundai, 221 North 36th Street in Quincy. Wrapping up the show next. If you want to get your tickets uh, to the Little uh, little Texas concert in Mount Sterling tomorrow night, stop by and see Michael and I, and we'll give you, we'll give you some tickets. Live and local in America's News Talk 1070 KHMO and the KHMO app. From the Salvation Army, welcome to Heartbeat. It's no secret that poor posture will eventually result in preventable back pain. Our neck muscles tighten and we start holding a lot of stress on our shoulders too. We simply forget to stop slouching and to sit upright. So a company has created a small gadget that you clip onto your shirt. It analyzes spinal positions and buzzes when your posture needs to be corrected. That's crazy, right? But just as we can get lazy with our physical posture, we can do the very same thing spiritually. Let this message be a reminder. Psalms 84.11 says, No good thing will God withhold from those who walk uprightly. So sit and walk uprightly, no more slouching, and keep both your back and your soul alignment. For more episodes of Heartbeat, visit SalvationArmyRadio.org.
More than 6 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's, with more than 11 million family members and friends serving as caregivers. The toll of the disease is monumental, and no one should face Alzheimer's or dementia by themselves. Free help is available 24-7. For resources and support, visit the Alzheimer's Association at alz.org or call the helpline at 800-272-3900. You are not alone. It's been said that when someone you love has Parkinson's, you have Parkinson's. The Parkinson's Foundation knows that the disease doesn't just affect the diagnosed. It affects everyone who supports and helps care for them. If you have questions, the Parkinson's Foundation has answers. We can help you understand the disease. And give you tips for living a better life. Find your answers at Parkinson.org or call 1-800-473-4636. The Parkinson's Foundation. Better Better lives lives together. 1070 KHMO. Welcome back to On the Mark here on News Talk 1070 KHMO and the KHMO app brought to you by Cunis Honda Hyundai. We're live here at Cunis Honda Hyundai. And it uh, looks like we got another a guest joining us. Come on around here. What's your name? Uh, my name is Cody Douse. Cody, a sales, a sales rep here at Cunis. Yes, sir. Now, Cody, you're a, a Rams guy, you're saying. I am. Huge here, Rams get right fan. up in that mic, Cody. Yeah, yeah, huge Okay, Rams so fan. Rams Rams winning. You said Rams Super Bowl to me. I, 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 championship <laughs> at least. I like I, listen, I, at least. I was telling you off the air here, I, I haven't done my official predictions yet i won't do that until august but sure. right now if you would like you know gun to the head you had to make a bet on who's winning the nfc west I, I would take the rams i would definitely take the rams they got a strong defense like you said they're young you know aaron donald retiring it's a bummer he's a legend as you much know? as everyone says but, kyle shanahan sean McVay's the best coach in that division absolutely I think Sean Absolutely. McVay is the best coach in the NFC. Yes, I do believe so. And, and, you know, he's the one with the with the ring, with the Absolutely. title. Yeah. And so I and so I'm with you. All right, Rams Super Bowl. I, well, you heard it here with Cody first. Uh, yes, sir. Great specials going on today. Why should people come out and see you today, Cody? Uh, yeah, we got some huge specials going on for Memorial Day weekend. So we're doing a penny over event on all new Hyundai's. Uh, come get America's best warranty. I promise you, you and your family won't regret it. Hey. I'm, I'm a part of the Cunis family. It's, 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 uh, special. It's what you guys got going on. Appreciate you stopping by, Cody. Absolutely. Thank you. Come very out much. and see Cody today. All right. And all this weekend. Uh, here, just a couple minutes left wrapping up the show. I want to touch on really quick. Caitlin Clark, the fever. They got their first win last night. Caitlin Clark was not great in the game. She had a big three late. That's got all that mattered. Uh, but she it was in you know, 11 points on 14 shots. What I will say about this is Kaylin Clark's teammates finally showed up. Aaliyah Boston, last year's number one pick out of South Carolina, very talented player. They're getting some going now. Aaliyah had, I think it was like 17 points. So that's what you'd like to see. Can Aaliyah, you know, inside outside game with Caitlin Clark in the fever? They beat up on Cameron Brink. She played great, uh, with the Sparks, but they finally got their first win 78 83 over the Sparks. Um, huge series, Cubs and Cards. They got rained out last night. Tonight, they should be able to get that game in tonight. The, ga- the rain out game was made up for actually the game that I'm going to, uh, July 13th. I'm going to the day game, and then they'll play a double header. I might have to just stick around and see if I can get tickets to go do, to do a double header. Cubs cards. Um, but Cubs, three and seven in their last ten. They're two and a half behind the Brewers now. Cards, meanwhile, eight and two in their last ten. But they're still three games back at the Cubs. So these two games today and tomorrow, they're meaningful. And then uh, I do want to say congrats to Xander Shoffley. Xander got himself uh, his ma- his first major. Um, you know, Xander's one of those guys in the golf world. If you're if you're a diehard golfer, you you really you, you're pulling for him to get one because he is literally was the definition of always the bridesmaid, never the bride. And um, and so for him to secure a major. I, I, the sky's the limit. I, I really think Xander's the type of guy, the way his game translates, the way he is now that he broke through, it feels like Xander's the type of guy that would have shocked me if he ends his career with three or four majors. No, it wouldn't shock me at all. The problem is we keep saying that with all of these guys. There's just so many talented golfers right now who all either have one or two or three majors or, you know, in Brooks and Rory's case, four and five majors. To where it's like um, anyone can win on any given weekend. And there's still a bunch of really talented guys out there. The Max Homers of the world, the Tony Finau's of the world, who don't have a major yet. So the pressure's on now, those guys. Xander has pra- passed the torch of the must-win-a-major title to to Max and to Tony Finau and those guys. 
Um, thank you so much. Uh, it, it, we love doing these live shows. Our second one here at Cunis. Uh, 221 North 36th Street. Come on out and see him this weekend for the Penny Over Sale. Uh, really special stuff with the Duna Cunis Honda Hyundai. Uh, the used inventory, the new inventory. And again, like we always say, if you're in the market for, you know, a, uh, a even a, a, a brand new Jeep or something else, come to Cunis Honda Hyundai. See what they can do for you. As far as what I got going this weekend, tonight, huge game. You got to watch Celtics. Crucial, crucial game for the Celtics to get, uh, just end this series. Put the Pacers away. Get a win in Indiana tonight. Sweep them. Take care of business. Can Jason Tatum step on up? And then, obviously, game three tomorrow night, Mavericks, Timberwolves in Dallas. Can Minnesota stay alive in the series? That's what I'm going to be watching for. As always, follow me on social media, at Mark Hespin, on YouTube, on Twitter, slash X, on Instagram, M-A-R-K-H-E-S-P-E-N. And then also, uh, you can follow the show on the Mark K. Chimo on Facebook, and join us with the fun there. We'll see you next week.